Hi, and welcome to another episode of Develop with WP. Today we're going to talk about the WordPress uh, QuickTags API. Uh, and the way we're going to do that with our plugin that we're building is we're going to add QuickTags um, to our text areas. So uh, before we get started though, I do need to lay a little bit of groundwork. Uh, because I have done something since the last video that I'm just not going to cover in a video because it's really kind of, I think, self-explanatory. But um, I have taken our, taken our fields, which we had assigned all these different classes like meta table head and meta TD and blah, 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 blah. And I went ahead and input that CSS into here. And so now if you look at our text areas or our, our input fields, you'll see that like you know, I've floated some stuff, I've given it some styling, you know, I've bolded these, the headings, and just little things. I've spaced things out, added a bottom border, and it really, all I did was just some cosmetic stuff to make it look better. You know, I've made my text areas larger, and so forth and so on. Uh, I guess the moral of the story there is, is that, you know, it's HTML, so you could use CSS to make it look however you want. Uh, so that's enough of that. Alright, so quick tags. What are quick tags? Well, these are actually, these are quick tags. Quick tags are these little buttons that you can add to the top of a input field uh, that allow you to bold stuff, add in links, make quotes, code, whatever you want. Uh, and WordPress has a bunch of them that are built in by default. And so that's what we're going to do today. We are going to add some of these to our text areas down here so that people, when they type stuff into here, they can do little things. Okay, so let's get started. So if you go over to the code, one of the things we have to do first is go to our main custom post type um, file and where we enqueued our scripts earlier when we did our, we did a custom JavaScript and a custom CSS, we now need to add in a new one, which you can see I've done here in script called DWP custom quick tags plugins URI blah 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 to this quick tags.js file. Uh, so you're going to enqueue it just like we did the other script file and this one has a dependency as well So you can see I've included the array and I've made quick tags the dependency And that's going to allow us to use the default quick tags built into WordPress, okay? So again, we've covered that in the last video, but I've enqueued the script And now you'll see that I have it right here. So let's get started the same thing as before we need to get our We're going to be using jQuery and we need to get our um, document ready All right, so I think we're good. I didn't break anything. All right, so we have our document ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to call something. We're going to call quick tags. And then all we're going to do is we're going to give it, uh, if you look, we have to give it an ID, and we have to tell it which buttons to use. Real simple. So the ID will be the ID of the location you're trying to add them to. So if we go to minimum requirements, we know from our code that the ID for minimum requirements is uh, minimum requirements. All right, and then the buttons. So if we go to the WordPress codex for quick tags and we go down to the bottom you can see a list of all the predefined quick tags uh, and their ID. So link, strong, code, whatever you want. So we're going to use EM for italicize, link, and strong. And that's all we have to type, you know, in quotations, EM, strong, and link. All right, so let's save this and see if it's worked. So we got one of them to show up. Um, EM, strong, and link. 
I wonder if I need to have it in double quotes. I wouldn't think so. Let's try it. Interesting. Maybe I can't have spaces. I don't know. Yay, no spaces. Spaces are bad. All right. So we got it in there. And then really all we have to do is copy this again and uh, change this to preferred requirements, which is the other ID for the other input field. And voila. Now you see that we have them here and you'll see kind of what's happened here is like there's a title under here somewhere. You just can't see it because this is all covered it up. But luckily we have CSS. So if you go to my CSS over here, I have it, I have it commented out. So let me uncomment it um, and save it. And now let's go look at it. Oh, that looks so pretty. So how did I do this? Well, uh, you know, the, the Quick Tags API created this little area. But if I go and look at it, I can see that this, the div that contains these Quick Tags has an ID or has a class of Quick Tags Toolbar. So all I did within my CSS was I, I targeted Quick Tags Toolbar and I added a little bit of padding or margin. I made it inline and floated it so we could see our title. And then I did do some stuff where I changed the border in the background um, because if you don't, it really still extends out, which I can show you really quick. You know, it, it well, it doesn't extend out, but it still has like this background and just doesn't look good. So I just figured, you know, we'll get rid of that and make them look better. So, yeah, so I made it look like that. Now, it is, one thing I do want to note, though, is that so I, I, we've used default quick tags, but if you look at the quick tags API, um, it really allows you to define your own quick tags. So you could create buttons to do whatever other stuff that you would want it to do. Uh, and so if, if that's the use case that you're looking for, uh, yeah, you're going to want to look at the codex and go in here and actually create the quick tags button. You're going to want to add a quick tags button to the list of default buttons that can be used. Um, but for our use case, and I think for most people out there, you're going to be just fine with the with the default ones that exist. And if that's the case, it's as simple as adding a little bit of JavaScript that we've done here. And now you have quick tags you know, utilized on your text areas. So the quick little short video, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, in the next video, we're going to talk about how to turn our input fields at the top, these date fields, into actual date pickers so that it has a calendar and you can actually select a date. So that'll look really cool. So uh, again, thanks. Hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one.